and here we go. Hey, hey everybody, this is David Bradley from richmansgym.com and this is the Rich Man's Gym Podcast, a personal development podcast dedicated to strength and conditioning for body, mind, and spirit. Now, if you, like me, are looking to level up, expand, and tap into your true potential, then you, my friend, you're in the right place. Thank you for being here. Let's get training. Hey, if you're getting some value from this, please and thank you for sharing it in advance out into the cyberspace so that other folks can benefit from it too. Make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode because there's going to be a lot of these coming at you. Uh, and if you'd like to contribute financially or support the podcast, there's a couple different ways you can do that. The easiest way would be to head on over to richmansgym.com forward slash swag. And you can get some Rich Man's Gym t-shirts, stickers, coffee cups, whatever kind of swag you like, go on over there and take care of yourself. Additionally, if you or anyone you know is struggling with any kind of addiction, particularly smoking cigarettes or vaping, and you'd like to finally kick the habit before the habit leads to you kicking the bucket, go check out StopDon'tQuit.com. This is a book that I wrote several years ago. It, is, it tells my journey, my story about how I went from being a pack, pack and a half a day smoker to back to the non-smoking section in three days. And I stayed there and I haven't touched that stuff since 2002. It's my journey. It's how I did it. And it is how you can do it too. So check out StopDon'tQuit.com for more on that. And today's sp- Sponsor, if you will, is going to be the My High Sauna Blanket. This is kind of like my newest addiction. This this is a, it's literally a sleeping bag with infrared heat in it. And you just, you climb in there, you fire it up and you just sweat. You're, I'm recovering better from my workouts. I feel like I'm more detoxified. It's put the calm into my brain. Um, man, it burns calories and apparently it improves your skin. But you can actually do a 30-day free trial when you hook up with this thing. Head on over to richmansgym.com. You're going to see a banner right there on the homepage. Click it. Boom. Try it out for 30 days. Guarantee you're going to love it. Promise you that. All right. So today, I'm going to give you six tips to make decisions faster. Because why? Because indecision is a killer. It affects every area of our lives. And how does that happen? Well, the main culprit of indecision, if you ask me and a few other experts around, is uncertainty. Think about that for a second. Like what's something that you right now you're uncertain about? Your next workout routine? A change in your nutrition program because you're not seeing the results you thought you should? You got career relationship decisions you need to make? Been meaning to rekindle your spiritual path, but you're just not too sure about going back to organized religion because whatever, right? Uncertainty slows your progress. A person who is uncertain, they can't make decisions. They can't make decisions fast either, right? It takes them forever to make a decision. And they certainly, because of that, they can't take any action. So what have you been putting off? Think about that for a second. Whatever that something is in your life right now that you've been meaning to do, but you haven't, what is it? I can pretty much guarantee that whatever it is that's popping into your head right now, there's something in there that you are not certain about. You're never going to get anywhere on maybe. Maybe. Maybe is hindering not only your progress, but your well-being and your happiness, right? And so as many of you probably already know, and for those of you that are new to the Rich Man's Gym podcast, first of all, welcome. Uh, but secondly, when I'm not here at Rich Man's Gym, I'm a 10X training facilitator and coach with Grant Cardone. And one of our business partners, one of the people that we've partnered with over the years, uh, his name is Brandon Dawson. And a couple months back, he posted up on his Instagram account, six tips For you to make decisions faster and consequently get yourself out of uncertainty. So I'm going to go over them with you. and We're going to take a deeper dive into each and every one of them. Okay, so here's the six. Let me just run them down. Bing, 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 bing. Okay. One, think of time as money. Ooh, I like that. Okay, two, limit your options. Three, draw a hard line between good and bad. Four, listen to your gut. Five, know that decisiveness grows with each decision. That's awesome. And number six, remember that indecision kills. All right, so let's break these suckers down. Okay, number one, think of time as money. Technically, your time is even more valuable than just money, right? You can always get more time, but once time is spent, it's gone. Bye. So what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with the time that you have that you don't get back? Have you ever... uh, Have you ever inventoried your day? 
Like, what would you find if you inventory? What could you find if you inventoried the last 72 hours of your life? Well, yeah, right? So listen, check it out. If you'd like a worksheet to actually do that, I have one and it's free. I'll give it to you. Um, email me, david at grantcardone.com. Mention this post and I'll send it to you so you can actually work with it and experiment with it. Okay. Two, limit your options. When you're looking at a menu, right? Think about restaurants that you go to. So when you're looking at a menu and there's too many items to choose from, like it, it's confusing. It, it, it overwhelms you. It just adds time to your decision. That's when the waiter keeps coming by like, you ready? I need a few more minutes, right? So keep your options tight and focused. Stay focused on the end result. Like what are you trying to get to? What are you trying to create? What are you looking to do? Is what in front is what, if it's not contributing to the end result, then chuck it without looking back. And if that's difficult, then just save it for later. But remove it from the decision that you're currently on. Is this, is this making sense? Overthinking never helps. This is something I've been working on. Look, I consider overthinking a hobby. <laughs> okay, I don't know about you, but like it's not helping though, right? So it takes time and it takes practice, which is the which we're gonna actually touch on that in what? Uh, number five. But number three is you want to draw a hard line between good and bad. If it's not good for you, then the answer is no, like period. Will this thing I'm trying to make a decision on, is it going to make me better or is it going to make me worse? Does this decision move me closer or further away from my goals and my dreams? My goals, my targets, my dreams, am I getting closer to or further away? I used to have a post-it note on my phone that had that exact thing. Is what you're doing right now moving you closer to or further away from your goals? Could this decision hurt me? or my loved ones. This would be a great place to start like literally inserting more discipline in your life and tough out the hard choices. And remember, character is what you do when no one's watching. And believe you me, someone's always watching. Number four, <laughs> listen to your gut. Okay, another word here for gut uh, could be conscience. Like your gut, like Jiminy Cricket. Remember Jiminy Cricket? Stuck on a decision? Always let your conscience be your guide, right? That's awful, but whatever, okay? Urges are just urges. Even the most powerful of urges are still not commands. The next move is, and it always will be, up to you, up to me. It's ours to make. And your gut can be your connection to the universe, your higher power. Be open to it. Listen to it. It's got wisdom in there. And the fifth thing, and this is what I was mentioning earlier, this is exciting to me, okay? Know that decisiveness grows with each decision. It's, so it's a skill set. It's, it's like a muscle. The more you work it, the better you get and the stronger you become. Oh man, that's amazing. So practice and frequency is the key. Even little decisions made quickly will add up and build strength and muscle. Remember that indecision kills. Like when was the last time you experienced indecision? Take a second, okay? Take pause, pause this if you need to, so you can write it down. Take a second, write down the last time you experienced indecision. What kind of decision were you trying to make? Was it a problem? How big of a problem was it? How are you gonna handle it? Like what can you do? Have you ever experienced a decision dilemma like that in the past? What did you do the last time? How did that work out? How, will, will you handle it the exact same way or are you going to do something a little bit different or, or, or better this time? Has anyone you look up to ever been in a similar situation? What did they do that you can learn from? WWJD went viral for a reason. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's wrap this up. Let's do a quick recap. Number one, think of time as money, right? That's, that's powerful. Two, limit your options, okay? Some choices support decision-making. Too many choices messes you up, okay? Draw a hard line between good and bad, and you already know what good and bad is, okay? Listen to that gut. That's going to help you with that, okay? And then know that you're going to get better and stronger every time you do it, and that indecision kills. So those are the six. So now, if you're looking to make decisions, I think the simplest of answers here would be just make decisions faster. In life, you, me, us, we, <laughs> we either win or we learn. We grow from failing, but that doesn't make us failures. Make sense? Follow, right? Makes us human. 
So we're going to learn from the mistakes and the victories of others, and we combine that with our own mistakes and our own victories, and then we create these non-negotiable behaviors that serve as guide markers. Because at the end, when you look back, I mean the end, end, that end, yes, when you look back, what do you want looking back at you? So I'm going to leave you with Jim Rohn. We must all suffer from one of two point pains. We must all suffer from one of two pains. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. The difference is discipline weighs ounces while regret weighs tons. And that is that. First of all, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and staying to the end. Leave a comment on what your takeaways were and most importantly, what you're going to do about it. Quick reminder to share and subscribe. This is Rich Man's Gym, strength and conditioning for body, mind, and spirit. Train anywhere. Talk to you soon.